from Stranger. Okay. We got Amais. Pakistan's final hope. Let's go, guys. Let's see some Pakistani flags. I gotta ask you a question, like, who, who would you say is probably the most dangerous man in Tekken? I think a lot of people would say Nii, right? His training partner is Janelle. Uh, Sean 9999. Thank you so much for subbing, buddy. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for the help. I mean, this is, this is Pakistan's last hope now. How strong is he? We didn't get to see him play versus Nii when Nii was in Pakistan, so... We don't really know how... Uh, I played before uh, six years, uh, but I played in King of Fighter. But in Pakistan, the Tekken uh, community is more than the chaos. So I decided to play the Tekken, because I like the game too much. Everybody wants Tekken, Tekken, Tekken in Pakistan. So that's why I chose Tekken after this. Awesome. Okay, so he's, uh, he's a King of Fighters player. Uh, that then started playing Tekken is what I heard at least. Was really, really a treat to be able to see the passion these guys have. But away, Sani man, he was the man that brought Akuma to the Pakistani shores. He's the one that taught everyone how to use the character when he went. He wasn't even like he's from Lahore. He's from the the, the city where all the top players are from. He yeah, actually went yeah. away from Lahore to another city called Faisalabad, and that's yeah. where he learned how to play Akuma. Really? He learned it from the arcades in Faisalabad, and then he took that information, brought it to Lahore, and he said, "Hey." <laughs> Do I have something for you guys? Oh, and Chanel. Ooh. That, is that giving us some kind of indication of which character he's going to be using? I mean, it better. If he doesn't pick Zafina now, then I'm going to be Yeah, Amai seems like, 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 like a real guy. gentleman, like, like really Lisa. nice guy. But he can do what he wants. Yeah. He knows the oh, and he's fighting he Chanel. That's too. really I'm tough. I'm one of the storylines here, at least during the Tekken World Tour, at least the latter half of the year, is not only Pakistan, but also the strength of Akuma. Yes. Out of Pakistan, and we saw at the master event in Tokyo this guy in the crowd with a channel sign ruining someone's view. Really Rude. Uh, uh, kind of like that's where he clinched. A, a <laughs> oh, blocking a someone, you mean? Yes, yes. Yeah, that, that, that's a bit lame. The FB Cup in Malaysia and Tokyo Tekken Masters. These guys have been performing so well, but here is where it counts: the finals, Tekken World Tour Final 2019. The first match for both these gentlemen. Here we go. Korea okay, th Pakistan this Japan. one's gonna be. Uh, I really yeah, hope Amais takes this. He said he remembers the Dubai event. He wants to be able to fight the demon, so to speak. And man, that was such a close set as well. Came down to 150 in the end. But Chanel is one of the absolute best players. Both of these players. This, this one's gonna be difficult. Again, he's, he's been waiting the entire day to play in his pool. Now finally here, we get to Nice blocks by Chanel. Big Shoryuken. Goes for the Akuma pressure. Nice block. He's been using a lot of that forward forward right kick there. In conjunction with the homing move as well. Trying to really create some pressure moments here. And this is where it's important because you have to control the match. Especially when you don't have that meter. And still be offensive at the same time. Mindful enough to be able to build that meter. What a step and he's launched. Season 3 Alyssa is very strong. And very, very safe. Great punishment. Of course, Elisa and Zafina, both these characters do have... Has a new 13 frame punish for uh, so well. Akuma's uh, Hadouken. Nice. Gets the punish here, and the knockdown is going to have to be careful. They're right in the middle of the stage here, but I wouldn't be so... Oh, my Ooh, God. Gets, gets his back. back. Down four, two, one. Now, what's he going to do here? What's the mix-up? I didn't get the combo ender, but that's that very yeah. difficult when they splat the wall to face to first. Trying to discourage him. Heavy goal goes for the down. Uh, whilst I need two into Demon Flip. Fucked up the punish there, unfortunately. Nice, here, Jabs him out. Not gonna kill. It's gonna be close. Oh. There we go. Final poke. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Great play by Amais. You guys are tuning in. Let everyone know. Twitch.tv slash Tekken. Tell everyone, man. Oh, yeah. Tell your mom, your dad, your granddad, everyone. Very nice block. Man, imagine the pressure on Amais here. He knows he's the last Pakistani. Oh, oh. Safe floor, good. See, that's a crazy mix the, the absolute yeah. favorites to win this, yeah. and he's the only one left, and we are in group stages. Vilam is doing good, guys. Thank you. Sick! Actually went for down for 1-2, and he got it. Arslan is out. Okay, Amai's looking in great shape. Come on. 
No! Good power crush, but Alyssa recovered in time. She's so safe. Kinda looks like uh, Akuma's outfit's already been cut a few times. <laughs> Tattered all over the place. He's seen some battles. Alice is a pretty oh, perfect yeah. tournament character, yet it's you pressure. only see Cuddlecore and uh, Chanel in the higher uh, levels. Oh, <laughs> nice combo! Low poke, mixed it up, no mid there, goes with the low. Very strong showing in his first match. Happy to see this. Avais is in great form. Anyways, Awais Honey drawing first, but getting that first match looks like Chanel content with using Elisa still in this matchup. He's gonna continue to use that character, but what stage are we going to now? At this point, man, you know, Avais is in great form. At this point, you know, he's got a game I mean, Chanel is no joke. Absolutely one of the best Korean players. Where's Honey Man? Not only is Pakistan on his side, I'm, I'm guessing most of Australia is going to be on his side as well. The Aussies out there, definitely going to be on his side there. Let's go, second match. One second match. Uh, Chanel obviously goes with an infinite stage uh, as he gets to pick. Uh, uh, as you lose, you get to either pick a stage or a new character. He opts for a new stage because, well, uh, Alissa. It's not like he's, he's gonna play Eliza anymore, I think, now that um, Alisa is so strong and Eliza almost nerfed. Um, and Akuma does much better with walls, so it just makes sense. Huge power, um, rage drive. Kuiper is jizzing all over himself watching Avais. Well, obviously, come on. Look at Avaisu. What a jump. Gets his back. They always get at least down one while standing 4-4. Gets the mix-up. Down for 1-2. <laughs> Ooh, Miss Sucks. Super Kuman, of course, Awise. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's see this. How, what's he gonna do here? Still trying to find this opening. Nice pull. Chanel really hasn't had an opportunity to take it. How many bars does he have? One. You just used it. Big damage. What's for breakfast? Homing, but blocked by Chanel. If you're wondering what clean it means, it means you have to be in close range in order for that to actually combo. And Awes yeah. Honey is finding that close range. And this time it wasn't. Yeah, if you're too far away and you go for the fireball cancel, Avais is beating him in the neutral. Mm -hmm. And it's just a waste of uh, built resources there. Yes. Okay, nice block. Mm. And the <laughs> this isn't Akuma bullshit. He has great reads on him. And his, and his spacing is super clean. Oh, nice. Able to get behind him. Sneak attack with the chainsaws. The oh, beat just dropping. There we go. And here we go. The back one successful. The follow up here and going for the mix up. What's he gonna do? Okay. Oh, man. He tried to pick him up again. Yeah, but good patience again from Chanel, but he has a massive lag. Everything's there. connected. Looking good at the moment. Can Chanel bring it back? Yeah, and no down four spam. He's not playing risky. Because you would expect a low coming up, especially when he has the meter. Oh my god, he's just standing there. Oh, and sometimes that's the scariest thing. <laughs> you stare into the eyes of the demon. He doesn't have to take any risks here. No. Oh, oh no! Gets fucking clipped by that rage drive. Such a strong rage drive. Look at the damage. He had such control of a neutral. He controlled the entire match. And then just one rage drive. And he gets blown up. Damn, that down to punish. Oh, with the punish. Recovered in time to not get whiff punished, though. Forward, forward, forward. Oh. Homing move. Everything seems to be working for a wise. One more hit could do it. Not over yet, though. Nice, gets the punish. No way. No Chainsaws way. Around. No way. Oh, no, no break. No way. Is he going to make this comeback? Oh. Mix up time. That was expected. Here's the low. And again, goes for the throw. Punish that. Chanel just tried to cheese him there in the end. Like classic Alistair flowcharts, hoping that Avice wouldn't be able to break them. 
Avais was much stronger fundamentally here than uh, Chanel. And that is incredible considering how fundamentally strong Chanel is. All Chanel had that last match was a rage drive comeback and then trying to basically flowchart him. That was it. Avais was in complete control of the spacing and the neutral and the mix-ups and the defense. But this man doesn't need to. That's deep. I mean, that is deep. Just thinking about that, sometimes huh. you have to remember, like, where you came from, how competition uh, used to damn, be back nice in the day. Words. I mean, yeah, you could be at the top of the Jimmy. world, but you always got to think back, the what philosophy. makes you a better player? Absolutely, man. You know, he's just trying to think back, what, what, what made him have that drive to compete? You know, trying to go back and remember back in the day in the arcades, and hopefully he's found that because he's going up against a beast right now. Oh, where's Honey? Oh, oh my God, we're going to see this matchup. I can't wait. Now look, I know Aries is restreaming at home, or hopefully he's restreaming. He's probably losing his mind. <laughs> now, you know, we've seen from this is going to be time. He chooses to go for Bryant versus the Akuma matchup. He has um, so many tools. So to probably the most hype American we'll player alive. He'll keep Akuma out. Yeah. So much damage as well. We Jimmy, need down for. Mr. Let's Naps, see if Jimmy can arguably the greatest the Bryant yeah, player in the world. The demon at bay. Let's see what he does. Versus Avai Sani, the last you know, remaining a Pakistani, last man standing in the Tekken world championships yeah. and that's a scary thing too with that three plus four he's gonna have to watch out because big four 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 country you know, the ability to jump he has the focus nice for free yes. bound it's not free oh, oh, man. Doesn't, doesn't get, get the, the second wall, and third though, hit with of that. Wow. Can, unfortunately a big wall and one catches him there that's a move which has so much pushback i don't even think Akuma can uh, he gets the wall nice. get some brian damage really good, and really good eats damage a full off string. of that and jimmy j tran taking that first round Great first round by Jimmy. Solid first round there from Jimmy. Yeah, he had actually a very oh, tough match opening up against Novi earlier on. Let's see if he's been able to adjust here. Might have been cold. Oh, where's Honey? He's finding his range. Uh, Dark Slayer, yeah. Wilhelm got some stitches, but he's fine now. The whiff punish there, and he gets the damage. Oh, my God. Here we go. What's for breakfast? Ah, uh, mid. Looking for the seven golden letters. There it is. Takes a huge risk. Goes for down for 2-1, but he has the read. He got it. That's launch punishable. Yeah, he knew Naps was going to duck. His 50-50 reads, like, in terms of blocking the opponent and uh, offensively, like, he's so on point today. But now this looks like Jimmy is going to answer back by taking the third round. <sighs> yes, big counter it. Seems like, is everyone rooting for Naps? That's where it's dangerous, of course. Jimmy's gonna have to be very, very careful to stay out of that range. Yeah. Where he can both use standing too. There it is. Very nice. Look at that conversion. Is that max damage with one bar? Breakfast. Four for two one. Um, Naps gets the two free punish. Brian unfortunately can't do much damage after blocking. Uh... <laughs> That's safe. Now what Jimmy with the rage, I mean he can end it with one hit. Oh my oh. in such control in the neutral allies. Very nice down four. And where Atif Butt and Bilal, you know, are very aggressive with the down fours, as you can see Ali Sani is very sparse with those. Keeps it more more so goes for the minus twelve low poke with uh, um, Akuma. Yeah, that, that could have been a wild sunning too in uh, Nap's face. You can't even tell there's been a bar reduction on uh, Akuma when Avais plays. Just looks like good old Akuma, you know. Look at the patience on Avais here. Not taking any risks. Blocks for rage drive. Oh, what a sidestep! Jimmy's still alive with a magic pixel here. Literally one HP. Nine seconds left. So much patience from Avais. So much at stake, but still completely collected, just blocking. And knows that he has nothing to hurt me with. You know, uh, unless he comes really close and he can land a taunt. Other than that, I can just keep my guard up because I'm not afraid of his hatchet kick. It does some damage, but it doesn't knock down. You know, it's um, 
Beautiful play. Right, we've got the Aussie shouting for a waste honey. <laughs> All right, starting off here. Guys, <laughs> you see that little eyebrow raise from Jimmy's like, okay, All right. All right. The crowd is getting hyped. They're getting excited. Here we go. Pakistan oh. versus USA. This is the stage, too. This is the stage that Jimmy loves. Yep. Let's see how it works out. The adjustment. Has there been enough data to download? Wait, see, that is the wrong punish. Uh, I, I'm rooting for Avais. And unashamedly no so, Foxy. Oh, he had a big opportunity there. I mean, come on, everyone is seems to be rooting for Jimmy. So, me rooting for, for Avais isn't too terrible. You start taking some liberties here, especially when Akuma does not have meter. Yes, absolutely. You have to have a quick start, man. Nice. So, Avais took the first match. Uh, it was 3 2 in rounds, so it was quite even. Although, the last round was uh, pretty much in control by Avais. Good space to get from Jimmy at the moment. Always Honey just one step ahead at the moment. Rage available, but not able to use it. Always Honey on well the board. Second match. <laughs> yeah, Always Honey really showing his knowledge here in the matchup as well. Yeah. Not afraid of Brian. Oh. Wow, look at these pokes. Everything is landing here for Always Honey. Oh man, he's not letting Jimmy out. The wall bounce. Always Honey will move quickly onto set point here to take it over Jimmy. Uh. Oh. He is playing out of his mind. He's he has definitely turned it up. He's carrying the hopes and dreams of a country on his shoulders right now. This is no joke. A West Honey with a combo opportunity. Oh. Very nice jab to interrupt the demon flip. Yeah. Naps was waiting for that. Ah, doesn't get the wall break. Taunt back four. This is going to be massive damage. He's going to get the wall. Look at the damage. Oh my god. That was on purpose, by the way. Jumping jab. No! Gotta be careful. Oh, the nice orbital. Nice orbital. Oh no, down three. Yeah, that is bullshit. Oh. I, I am rooting for Avais, but some of the Akuma bullshit is too much for me to stomach. Wrecked. Uh, but well, well, well played by Jimmy. Um, well played. And Avais, godlike play. Oh. Oh. Uh, trouble. Yes, okay. I believe so. Gotta make sure you're hydrated. Hydration is important, man. Especially if you're gonna be funneling out these crazy combos. <laughs> so yeah, like like you said, Mark, man, Nobi was saying that he wants to shift that uh, attention towards the Japan, to Japan now. And the magic the water. In the world. And what a way to do it than to go 4-0 in the group and beating the person that everyone is talking about. Oh, where's Honey? Genuine gaming. This is such an important You versus game. Aris, Watch winner out, donates to charity. Oh, yeah, Aris. Who, uh, Aris Scrooge, who is, what, has $50 billion in his wardrobe. It is the matchup we have expected. It is Dragonov versus Akuma. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah, and if you're here in the crowd, make sure you guys don't go anywhere. There's a lot of crazy stuff that's about. Uh, okay. I'm super excited. So we this have Akuma versus Dragonov. Uh, these are top two in season three, arguably the strongest characters, and Avice versus Nobi, arguably the greatest users of these characters. While you do have JDCR in the mix with uh, Dragonov and Akuma, you have, uh, well, many strong Pakistanis. <laughs> Uh, like yeah, yeah Bilal, Atif, but Farsi. But Nobi gets the first big launch. Ouch, Oki. Ah, uh, down to 30% already. Gets a down for the kip up. Tags him mid air, and he converts to a juggle. That is world class adjustment. So yes, very nice. Stomach for to, to close it out. Uh, so that's 1-0 to Nobi, takes the first round. Standing 2, has a bar, this is gonna be wall. Uh, uh, uh. Ish, ish. Goes for Oki, 
Nobi, very clever here, stays on the ground. He knows that attack roll can mean death versus Akuma. Crazy sidestep by, by Amice, but the back one from that angle will not give you a combo. Oh, 1-1 one, one Hadouken, got the counter hit. Doesn't have a bar, otherwise he would have converted to a combo. But nice down for 1-2 to close it out. Oh, what a read, immediate low parry. Did Amice go for down two maybe? EX sure you can get off me. Probably one of the best panic moves in the game. Crazy low parry. Drops the combo unfortunately. Still a life lead uh, for Nobi and especially after that up forward floor. <sighs> Crazy pressure. Ooh. That was sick. Hadouken! God, anyone's game here. But of course, uh, just... <laughs> wow! Nobi immediately challenges the EX Tatsu and does a down forward 4 from Dragonov. That is 12 frames, right? It's very fast. Very smart. Ah, yeah, yeah, Nobi is insane today. Doesn't have meter. Oh, whiff! Oh, sidesteps the demon flip and simply pokes at his legs. And that's it. God damn, Nobi is uh, strong today. Yo, Nobi's always on some stuff right now. I know what he's on, bro. And happy throw for Nobi is one of my favorite players. Damn! This is really... Really showing the... Scary, scary potential of uh, Season 3 Dragonov. Yeah, Nobi... It's been a long time. So, I mean, he's always a very solid player, but it's been a while since I've seen him play like this. Okay, so Amice, can he take a match on Nobi? He played really well the first match. By Nobi. On point with the mix-ups here. While standing 4-4, get some damage. Standing 2. While standing free into throw, it was ducked. Ooh, jumps over, and that's it. Huge damage. The meter awareness on uh, Avaisani is ridiculous. He will mid combo, you know, get a get a bar, and then immediately change the combo to readjust for the bar. Uh, instant while running two gets the counter it drops the combo mm. but unfortunately Avice drops the combo in turn ends down for four down for two four three and that is minus 17 or 18 gets launched dragon of of course has a very long range uh, 15 frame launcher and down for two nice whiff punish on down four great punish there Ooh, down for one, two, nice on the whiff. Uh, Nobi goes down for one, four. Amice does not duck. Four, four, four. Nice poking here. Nobi's in rage, but he's it's a lot of work. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. Hmm. Okay, Amai's looking stronger this time around. Oh, Jesus, not a good start for Nobi here. Boom, boom. Oh, goes for Oki, resplats him. So disgusting that while running free, gets the setup on a grounded Nobi. And <laughs> jumps over Nobi's offense, kicks him in the face. Does a guaranteed uh, jab into Shoryuken and he's dead. That's where Akuma was this whole time. He was here in Pool D. <laughs> but man, oh man, We're going down to the final match between these two is similar to what we saw in Malaysia, where they went down to the wire. 
That's not Akuma BS. That is Avaisani being super, super good. No, that was absolutely Akuma BS. How many people do you think can do this with Akuma? To the forgotten realm. The do you see stage. everyone else playing More Akuma? For everyone. You get some damage, you get some damage Super Akuma is damage. out? How many other Akumas have you right, seen so on. far Who's gonna get the hit in the finals? Who is gonna get the launch? Who is gonna capitalize? Yeah. I'm just saying, like, yeah. don't, don't discredit yeah. Avai Sani because he's seriously yeah. fucking good. He's an Akuma yeah. god, yeah. you know. Alright, starting it off. The decisive match between these two amazing players. Japan versus Pakistan. Yep. Nice, Tomford went too. Just poking away here, away Sunny trying to build up that meter to uh, initiate the game. And that's why I was talking about the up forward four is a full launcher on this stage. Yeah. Very so nice. Here, Big jog goal into forward four two, oh, man, into while nice. running two. Great Nobi pressure by right Nobi. It's a standing two, big wave, no bar ball for Avai, so he couldn't convert to combo. Anyone's game, exactly equal in health, nice throw break. But of course, we are on the floor break stage, so that happens if Dragunov gets an up forward four. You die. This is a very bad match to fight uh, Dragunov on. His forward forward 1 plus 2 command throw will also launch you on this stage. Dragunov is, is disgusting here. Up forward 4 turns into a launcher, but big counter hit by Akuma. Boom! Shoryuken? No. Goes for a nasty setup. Didn't get the tag catch, unfortunately. Um, nice slide by Nobi. Nobi has wall pressure. 1-1-3. One, one, nice adjustment. Hu huge damage. Nobi looking very much in control here. Oh, no break. Very nice by Nobi. He wants to secure a winner's side berth. Oh, standing two. That's what Nobi is looking to low parry. Just a very good way of starting the match. Down two with Akuma. Crushes highs, 12 frame, natural launcher. Boom! Wow, Alice is going in. 10 hit combo! <laughs> what the fuck? And it paid off! Look how much health it took! Jesus. As Nobi always says, rank battle strats, it's the best. Everything I've learned, I learned in ranked battle. Nobi 2018. Nice low parry! And now, uh, ah, okay, he didn't need the season 3 wall travel there. Down 4, completely even still in health. Anyone's game, they are both so strong. Ford, Ford, Ford. Oh my god. God. I'm clenching my butt cheek so hard. Gets the down to drops the combo. So uncharacteristic of Avais. Poking away. Oh, gets punished for the huddle. Oh, baits the EX Shuri Yukam. Nerves of steel, Nobi. Tournament veteran. Would not take the risk. He saw the Hadouken, minus 13, punishes it with 4-1, four, four has frame advantage, is expected to capitalize on the frame advantage, but he knows Amais has a bar. Wait, EX Shuryuken, down for 2. Crazy patience. Um, just uh, really well played by by Nobi. This is gonna be uh, exciting and suspenseful. If Allies loses, we don't have Pakistan in the top eight of the Tekken World Tour. It's pretty incredible, uh, considering I thought we'd, we would have several Pakistanis in the top eight. Are you looking forward to EVA Japan? It gave a rise to a new era last time. Of course I am, you know. Big Tekken tournaments are always hype. Spice it up. Do it for me. So, you know, Drew made a tweet 
on uh, shouts to Drew. You are you Drew made a tweet on 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 Twitter saying you know oh you know these genuine gaming guys are good but you know don't forget a way a, you know low high beat. Uh, artifact. I saw that a few weeks ago. Yeah, and then Genuine Gaming replied with the picture of Awes Honey with the trophy at Dubai. So there is a little bit of a thing between GG and UIU. So you know. Yeah, but that's let the orgs talk, let the players talk right now. I'll Do you plan on attending next players, Evo? Honestly, yes, they, I uh, will be there. Together, right? Yeah, yeah, next Evo Vegas. And I think that uh, Awes Honey. Has it's in July. Lost to him. It's been very close. In how many hours is going to be the top yeah, eight? Top yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking we're going to go for a break after this. Because after this, the group stages are over. Yeah, oh, Barrett, you're going. Yeah, it will be very nice to meet you, sir. Yeah, I'll see you there. Uh, I will see you there, main man sweet, to eat an O10 from you. Haha, ha, you're going to spank my ass, daddy. Uh, super geese. Yeah, well, maybe we'll get to play. Cheers, man. Yeah, and it's really, really going to affect how our top eight plays out. I mean, in before I'm main man gets scared of a plane. I'm, I'm very, I'm very afraid of flying. But I did take my ass to Vegas and back home again. Twenty-eight hours of travel there. Twenty-eight hours of travel home. It was fucking grueling. He's gonna have to go through a beast in low high um, the, These so nuts. I'm doing great, man. Matchup, How are you doing? It all comes down to this. The final match of the group stages here at Tekken World Tour Finals. Well, this is what people have been training for. They want to be able to represent in the finals. Okay, the here we go. Who's gonna take this? Oh my God, let's go. I'm thinking Avice. And I'm hoping Avice. Sorry, low high. I'm sorry. One Pakistan in the top eight. Let's go. Here we go, a race to two. Nice, starts it off with the wall standing four. Again, this is the time where you want to employ the dominant... Ooh, the what a sidestep into side throw. throw. Beautifully executed. Uh, sidestep into standing two, get some damage there. 45 damage, okay. if I remember Ball correctly. Nice punish again. Nice with punish there with the jabs. Nice back two. That's yeah, exactly trying to get the exactly. counter it there with the back two. Away. Strong counter it tool. So Loha is dangerously close to the wall here. Nice slide. Executed so quickly. So it's very even here. Nice down to... Unfortunately, doesn't get the clean hit. But he has a bar now. Amice has a bar. Loha is low on health. Ah, gets the rage drive. Dashes in into rage drive. <laughs> EX3, you can... <laughs> One more mix up. Oh my God. <laughs> big whiff, <laughs> big whiff into kick in the face. Crazy first round. That lasted forever. Ends the string, gets a counter it. Knocks him to the ground. Did down free, but not into Shoryuken. He could have re-splatted him, but I'm thinking he didn't want to go for the risk. Tatsu. And yeah, that round was quite a bit faster than the first one. So Amai's 2-0 here in the first match. Can low high counter here. Man, Amai's is really controlling the pace here, but gets jabbed out of a demon flip, and that means you're getting wall splatted. Drops a combo, unfortunately, and loses the wall pressure. That's not good for low high. There's so much good stuff happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice down free there. No bar though, so couldn't convert into a uh, combo. Slides for power crush. Nice. Okay, trying to get that wall positioning. While running one. Spacing, spacing. Abai's careful here. Goes in. Has a bar now. No, Tatsu, you're gonna get launched. Gets launched. Big risk. Oh, down two to start the match. It's so powerful. How many times has he made that work now? And look at the wall travel. Ish, ish. Oki keeps him at the wall. Keep him honest with some bullshit. Ish, ish. Now, gets away from the wall. Lohai is very close to the wall. Very bad position versus Akuma. Amais has a bar. It's a huge wall splat. 
Oh, very nice adjustment by Low High. Gets a big combo off of that wall splat. Power crush to the face. Anyone's round. Oh, what? And again, so much on the line here. To again, to just take such a huge oh, risk. Dick jab into while standing 4 4. Like, and really? And I hope you guys are home as well. This, it all comes down to this now. You can see the stress. It's Isn't it? Uh, am my eyes deceiving me? Or is it, that's what he did? He's up 1 0. He is in good position. I mean, Didn't he do that? He be in going to the second match, right? Yeah. That's what it looked like to me. We're going to the classic. We are going to no wall stage. The infinite. It's so risky, but he makes it work. Choice versus an Akuma player. I hope you don't mind, Spag. I'm gonna go crazy because I don't have to. Down free into while standing four four. It's so risky, but he made it work. Right, let's do it. I'm done too, bro. It's like the round we saw previously uh, in a prior match where he ended the round with down for 2 1 versus Jimmy, I think. Wilhelm is alright, thank you. He, has a, he got stitches here on the chin. Uh, one HP, one more poke, and Avice is gone in this round. There we go. Jab to the face. Uh, low high takes the first round here. If Avice takes this match, he will be in the top eight. If low high wins two matches, he is in the top eight. <sighs> so much at stake here, and so much money at stake. And he's gonna have to need a lot of meter to be able to get that much damage. Getting into the top eight is gonna is gonna mean a heck of a lot of more money for one of these gentlemen from the prize pool. But that, that's a big launch. Drops the combo, unfortunately, for low high. Punishes the Hadouken. Loves to do that into the sweep, but yeah, Amice was was on board. He knew what was coming. Amice in rage. Has a bar, jumps over the slide, down two into pressure, down one, uh, demon flip one knockdown. Oh. Used so much bar to try and close out the round, but nope, low high countered. Nice, down one to Hado. Ooh, Shaheen's down for two is insane. So good. Bam, man. Uh, low high. Jabs him out of a demon flip from back turn. Oh, reads the down four. Beautiful play by Low High. Jesus answers back with a no round round. So obviously Avice is gonna pick a stage with walls now, so he can go for the wall travel, wall pressure, and insane damage, tech catch bullshit at the wall. Abandoned temple. Yep. Hometown advantage, baby. The final stage. Wow, this is the deciding match, guys. Ooh. Who takes the first round? That's gonna that's gonna be very important. Come on, am I? Oh, four one into down for two, and it works out. It's gonna be a wall. Uh, uh. What's the old key? Blocks the down free. Oh, get again! Gets a, uh, gets a read and punishes. Climbs back. Eats a slide. Oh, didn't get the wall bounce. That would have been it had he gotten it. Oh, gets the throw break. Oh. Just out of range, so scary. He's threatening the slide once again. I'm dying from stress. Can someone do something, please? Oh my god, Mark. 
Look at this. What's gonna happen? Oh man, he's in. Back to the wall. He's gonna have to Oh get no! Beautiful by Low High. That last was really well played. Yeah, he spent his meter there. Hmm. Oh man, this is rough. Oh, it's not deep enough, and again, that's why it's so important to get that clean hit on the low kick. Yep, absolutely. That's a huge life deficit now for OS without meter as well. Oh, he had it there. He didn't let it go. Oh, nice four, four, four. This could hurt. Oh, oh, Never mind. One oh god. One more round for low high and he takes it. He has taken five rounds in a row. Has he got has he got a perfect read on allies? Certainly looks like it. Oh get the down two. Get the round now. Get the wall. Get the damage. And get the Oki. There we go. There we go. Do the Akuma. <laughs> Yeah, has tried to do something and he's oh! <laughs> Starts the round with a hop kick. Was Avais doing a down two? Well. Yeah, Can he stand up from this? Nice! Gets the jumping four! Oh, he had to deal with it. What's the mix up now? Oh my god, get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, down for one, two. Oh no, it gets the jabs. Ha, Hadouken, Shmooken. I'm dying. Seriously, I'm dying. Can we just finish the round? I'm getting so stressed. Ducks for Rage. Oh god, it's final, final round. Final, final round. Let down four. Keep up to the face. Slide. No. No. Standing two, he challenged his 50-50, his full crouch mix-up. Didn't get the wall. <laughs> Didn't get the wall. Didn't get the wall. That would have been a deciding wall, wall combo, I think. What a sidestep. Bullshit. What happened? Hitbox disappeared. One of the greatest sets I've seen today, but wow, congratulations to oh. Lohai. Oh but man, God. you gotta give it up. A wise honey, a valiant effort, and not just a wise honey, all the players and all the community out of Pakistan, they really helped change the Tekken world and this year. That was insane. Absolutely insane. We need a replay of that. Show us again. He went for one more mix up, but it wasn't quite enough. The trademark low high rage art, and it was enough to kill Mark. What is it? What is it with this game? I am not gonna ever stop loving this game, <laughs> and I hope everyone that's watching at home realizes that. Man, we are not even in top eight yet. This is crazy. We are not even in top eight yet, so I hope you guys are enjoying this good Tekken. This good ass Tekken. I'm, I'm burnt out, Mark. I am burnt out. That's amazing. So if we. Uh, just to summarize what happened, Nobi 4 and 0. Oh let's, let's look at where we're at. Yeah. Guys, this is our top eight. You guys can see it on the screen. Look at the representation from around the world. Yeah, this so is tough, man. We were talking about, you know, Japan wanted to bring it. They definitely brought it. They have. Korea as well. <laughs> we have one American player. Yes. And that didn't that just happen. Low high. On the loser side, Ulsan, Anakin, I mean, what? Lohai exactly gets it out right as the Ford Ford 4 connects. He survives with 1 HP and the Rage Art does half life. It does like half life. <laughs> Gotta love Tekken 7 sometimes. Like, Avice was doing so well and then just Rage Art. <laughs> Where's my Rage Art button? Wait, Hang in there. here's my rage right now. Ah, you know, it's like sometimes Tekken 7 is a little interesting. The, the thing is, sometimes I agree with people who say rage arts do too, too much damage. <laughs> Can you imagine losing such an important tournament set like that? 
ha 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 and then oh rage shards one button and ha half your health is gone oh god no certainly it was not half life but he, he had less than half hp but a rage shard done like that with one hp it actually does like 82 damage that's three points away from 50%. So it actually does half life. You know, a max damage rage art.